The software allows you to assign resources to data you collect or create. You can assign operators, vehicles, implements, and product containers to better track your resource usage, as well as generate predicted results, such as how much seed or fuel you will need for a field based on the equipment and products you assign to the data. In this tutorial, you will learn how to assign resource tracking items to an existing data set in your management tree, and see how those values can be used to calculate resource tracking attributes. The first step is to select a data set, load, or region in your management tree that you would like to set or edit the resource tracking data for. To access the resource tracking screen, you can either right click on the data set and choose reassign resource tracking or click on the resource tracking icon in the management tree menu. The resource tracking dialog will now open. You can use the screen to set or edit management items such as operators, vehicles, implements, and containers. First you can add, select, or edit an operator. Defining the operator can be used to generate reports and map productivity to better track operator activities. Now add, select, or edit a vehicle. Key properties that should be defined for the vehicle are located on the Vehicle Description tab. The properties that are highlighted in yellow should have values entered as they are used to calculate values for other system attributes. If appropriate for the operation that applies to the data set you are working with, you can add, select, or edit the implement. Lastly, add, select, or edit the container and assign it to a vehicle or implement as appropriate for the operation you are working with. For example, a grain tank would be a container that would be assigned to a combine, while a seed hopper would be assigned to a planter. Define the capacity of the container and the average loading, unloading time because that will be used to calculate the productivity for the selected data sets. Click OK once all assignments have been made. After assigning the resource tracking details, other attributes such as fuel needed and fuel refills can be displayed in summaries and mapped based on what was inputted in the resource tracking dialog. Once all resource tracking management items have been set up, a resource usage report can be generated. You have now learned how to assign resource tracking items to your data sets in the management tree. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.